In today's video, we're going to take a look at the surprising market which had a lot of volatility today, and that's Kroger. To help get down to Kroger, I'm going to be using our Stock Volatility Box Live Scanner, and specifically, we're going to focus in on the Overlap tab. Think of the Overlap tab as your best of the best volatility setups. It's where price in whatever market you're looking at, it's breaching its hourly volatility models, meaning you have an hourly volatility edge, and the daily models, and this is happening at the same time. Now, Kroger appeared two different times on the Overlap tab, interestingly enough, for two different types of entries. The first was a short side entry. This was about three minutes after the markets had opened, so very early on in the day. And the second setup was a long side setup. So Kroger is one stock that we're going to take a deeper look into, mostly because there was a lot of surprising volatility in Kroger today. I don't think it was a stock that many people expected to have the degree of volatility that Kroger ended up happening. The next batch of stocks that we can see, we have a grouping here of material stocks, metal stocks, wheat and precious metals, Pan American silver, and MP metals. And then we have Semtech, which is an IoT company. So from that list of stocks, Kroger very clearly stands out. It's not the type of stock that you would expect to see such high volatility in. So let's start with Kroger first, and then we'll move on to the other stocks. Now here's a one minute chart of Kroger from today's activity. First, we had the short side setup, and that short side setup came when price action breached our volatility model. So you can see we breached the aggressive and the conservative. After we breached the conservative, you can see sellers starting to take over control here and reversing momentum. There was really no looking back after this momentum turned, but this all happened, what, less than five minutes after the market opened. So a very quick rally that was rejected almost as quickly. Now the second setup came when price action breached our lower volatility box clouds. We had that first breach near 8.30ish. Into the lunchtime hour we went, and after that lunchtime hour, we can see the sellers resumed their selling activity inside of Kroger. If you take a look at the news events here, the key event driving this volatility was a downgrade to a $48 price target. And if we come into our daily time frame chart here, that key rejection happened near 57, and 48 takes us to essentially a gap fill sort of idea, a long ways away from prices currently trading. So Kroger today, the stock which I think had the most surprising volatility, the one that people did not expect. Now let's contrast this to some of the other stocks on our Stock Volatility Box Live Scanner. We'll start with Wheat and Precious Metals first, then move on to Pan American Silver, MP, and then finally SMTC. So starting with Wheat and Precious Metals here, similar idea. We had a sell-off to start off the day by 7 a.m. Pacific, so 30 minutes after the markets opened. We've breached our volatility models, and you can see how at this point sellers are exhausting, and the buyers are the ones actually starting to take over a little bit of control. The one minute chart may be a little bit too aggressive, I think, for most traders. So the two minute is a nice way to make that a little bit less noisy. And on the two minute, you see the same idea here. You see multiple edge signal confirmations. One, two, three. That's three different signals telling you you're officially now in oversold territory. You see the momentum switch with that blue dot that tells you the three EMA has crossed above the eight. You're looking at that momentum to start to switch to the buyer side or the bullish side. And after that, really no looking back. After Wheat and Precious Metals, we have Pan American Silver. Inside of Pan American Silver, a very similar setup, around the same time as well, at that 30 minutes after the market opens mark, just a reversal inside of the metals altogether. So those two went hand in hand. And if we take a look at MP Materials now, here you get a little bit more of the contrast side, where by 7 a.m. you had the other side with a lot of buying pressure inside of MP Materials. So there you got an idea of a short side setup in which that volatility was very clearly high here. Price went well outside of the conservative clouds as well. Finally, the last stock we have is Semtech. Inside of Semtech, we had price action rally. We had price hit our aggressive volatility box models. We started to see signs of exhaustion, a lot of back and forth here. And slowly but surely, you see the sellers take over control and into the close, we have rejection of that buying pressure from the first half of the day. So there you have it, 
we had six different tickers that appeared on the overlap tab, with Kroger appearing two different times. Again, hopefully, by going through this list, you saw how Kroger was very clearly the standout stock today. A stock where you would not expect to see the level of volatility that we did, especially for it to appear two different times on our scanner for two different sides of the trade, a long and a short side opportunity. I hope you found today's video useful. For all Stock Volatility Box members, you can check out the Overlap tab anytime throughout the day for a running list of stocks where you have volatility setups, along with the hourly and the daily where you can find much more setups than the six stocks that we took a look at in today's video. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.